Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the Roborock S7 and the Roborock Auto Empty Bin. Let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Alright, so first let's start out with the Auto Empty Bin. Three hours later. All right, so as you can see, we got out of the main packaging box here. Just out of the box here, just showing the Roborock Auto Empty Dock. So we'll go ahead and get this open, see what's inside. All right, so as you can see, we have our quick start guide. It tells us to tighten the screws into the base, remove the plate covering for the air inlet, use with Auto Empty Dustbin. And that's it for that. All right, so there's our auto empty bin base. As you can see, once the robot docks itself, it'll go up this chamber and into the auto empty bin. A very nice design. Let's see what else is in the box. All right, we also have our auto empty dust bin. It tells you how to install it to remove the covers. Set that aside. Lastly, we have our American power cord. And then last but not least, is our main auto empty dock. Let me get this out of the packaging. All right, so there it is. Here's our dust bin. Here's our filter, our charging indicator light at the front there, our charging contacts on the bottom. Of course on the back we have our cord holder. So I'm going to get this put together and then we'll open up the S7. Alright, so I got the auto empty dock put together. As you can see, this is the front of the box here. Got our app interface, our Roborock S7. Our features are sonic mopping, auto lifting mop, carpet detection, child lock, hyper force suction, precision navigation. And on the side of the box, it tells you the exact same things as long as with the Roborock logo. Flip it over to the back. Here's some more information about the Roborock S7 four times better mopping, 2,500 pastels of suction. 470 milliliters in dustbin size, 300 milliliter water tank, 5200 milliamp hour battery, accurate LiDAR navigation, intense sonic mopping, ultrasonic carpet detection, intelligent map, intelligent mop routing, and child lock. Upgraded brush system, in-app monitoring, auto lifting convenience, and more mop pressure. So let's go and get this thing open and see what's inside. All right, first we have our user manual. Our app connect to network guide. Looks like we have our mopping plate here. There's our mopping module. Trying to take it off, you just simply slide it right off. Put that back on. Next we have our power cord for the standard charger. Take this away. Next we have the robot itself. All right, so let's start with the bottom of the robot here. As you can see, we have our front wheel, our side brush, our two charging contacts, our brush roll. I must say this brush roll feels a lot like uh, the Roomba brush roll, so I feel like it's gonna do pretty good um, picking up all types of debris. Of course we have our mopping attachment area down here, all of our sensors around the robot, we flip it over, here's the front of the robot with the LiDAR, here is our dustbin, and we'll obviously replace it with the auto empty bin dustbin, take that, close that, here we have our child lock button, our button, 
our home button, of course our LiDAR. So yeah, we'll set that aside and see what else is in the box. Next we have our standard charger. Just a pretty, pretty standard um, robot charger. We'll set this aside for now since I'm not going to be using it. We'll put it back in the box. Alright, as you can see that is everything in the box besides the robot vacuum itself. So we'll go ahead and get this set up and put it in the auto empty dock. And then we'll put it to the test after it charges. One thing I did almost forget to show you guys is the mopping tank. So as you can see this is the mopping tank size for um, a robot vacuum. So I'm going to be interested to see how well this does with mopping. Alright, so as you can see we have it set up on the dock and it's charging. Let's go ahead and get it set up in the app and then we'll put it to the test. Alright, as you can see we're on the Roborock app. In order to get to this point you had to sign up for an account which is very easy to do. Just enter in your email, ask you for a, verific a verification code, and then once you get that verification code uh, you put that in, set your password, and then you'll get to the screen. So let's go to the Roborock S7. We'll search for a device. We'll allow location all the time. As you can see, it scanned nearby devices. I'll put in my Wi-Fi password. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Stand by. As you heard, the robot is attempting to, attempting to connect to my Wi-Fi. All right, so the robot connected to the app. We'll hit Use Now. We'll agree to the terms. As you can see, the battery level is at 39%. Check that the main brush cover has been properly installed, which it is. As you can see, we're at 39% battery, no map yet. We have dock and clean, our suction power, our map. All right, so the firmware update completed. We'll go into our settings here. We can manage our maps and go into robot settings. We can name our robot, button lights, status indicator light, child lock, robot time zone, do not disturb mode. We have our carpet settings, we have carpet boost on, and we have it set to rise. Our auto empty settings. Oh, well, that's not auto empty settings, that's the robot voice. Let's try that again. Auto empty settings. We have smart, light, balanced, or max. So to be honest with you, I'm going to try the smart first. And then I may update it to max, uh, just because I have dogs and pet hair, and that might be the best option. We have schedules, pin and go, where you can drop a pin and either spot clean or just clean that area. Remote control, have a joystick, or spot clean, directional buttons, cleaning history, there's no cleaning history as of yet. Our maintenance, as you can see, our filter, our side brush, main brush, mop, and sensors. We have our customer support, our user manual, firmware updates, and device sharing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got the robot set up here. We're going to go ahead and put it to the test. I put down some dog food here, um, kind of in a big pile. I just wanted to see how well this thing does on carpet. Just a quick little test for this video, and we'll do an in depth review video in just a couple weeks. Let's go ahead and get this started and see how well it does.
All right, so as you can see, here's the dustbin. It's pretty full. Let's put it in the dock and see how much it empties out. All right, so as you can see, it emptied everything out of the dustbin. That's pretty impressive. Next, I'll show you what it left on the floor. All right, so here's everything it left on the floor. A couple pieces here, over on the side there. And just one piece over here. So overall, it did pretty well. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. We'll see you next time.